You want to add more biomes to Minecraft, let's go ahead and do it. First things first, you want to download Biomes oh, plenty. This is the mod that allows you to get more biomes. And what we're going to do is scroll down and click the Download Biomes of Plenty button to go to the official download page. Congrats on them, by the way, for passing over 100 million downloads. And once we're here, we want to go ahead and click on Files. And then you want to find the 1.20.2 Forge version. It's right up here towards the top. And then go ahead and click the three dots and click Download. The file will then begin downloading. And while it's downloading, help notes from our company, Simple Game Host. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown that XYZ slash SGH. Start your very own DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, and customize your server however you want. And if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown that XYZ slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft server the simple way. Also, yes, you can add Bombs of Plenty to your server. Anyway, with Bombs of Plenty downloaded, you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. We'll also need Terra Blender. Terra Blender is basically a mod that allows Bombs of Plenty to work in Minecraft. Once you're here, click on Files and then find the 1.20.2 Forge version. It's right up here towards the top. Click the three dots and click download file and then download it again after a few seconds just like it did with biomes oh plenty now the last thing we need to download is forge forge is the mod loader that basically allows biomes of plenty to work with minecraft so without forge this doesn't work in the description down below we have this our complete guide on getting forge that truly does cover everything but we're going to go over the basics in this video so go ahead and click download here this will take us to the official forge download page where we want to select 1.20.2 by default as you can see it's not selected so we want to select it on the left hand side here and then under download latest click on installer that'll then take us off to add focus where stop don't click anything on this page whatsoever just wait about 10 seconds and then after about 10 seconds click the red skip button that appears in the top right it's the only thing you want to click is the red skip button in in the top right when you do by forge excuse me will start downloading for minecraft 1.20.2 you may need to keep or save it but it's 100 percent safe as long as forge is in the title and it has the version which ours does now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and let's move everything to our desktop for me it's going to be in my downloads folder by default and then once it's on your desktop we want to start off with forge here to do that, go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, then we need to get Java, specifically Java 17. You can find this link in the description down below, and it goes over everything you need to know to get Java 17 up and running in Minecraft. You'll also need to run the jar fix if you haven't already, and this is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. But first, make sure you get Java 17, then run the jar fix. Finally, though, let's go ahead and open up Forge. So right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That opens up the mod system install for Forge. Well, all you've got to do here is click install client and click OK. It's going to download, install, and basically get everything working for Minecraft 1.20.2 and Forge. From there, it's super easy to install biomes of plenty. Literally, we just open up Minecraft and drag and drop a few piles once we get Forge installed. But this may not work if the Minecraft launcher or Minecraft is open. If either of those are the case or open, you want to make sure they're closed, then reinstall for us. You'll also need to have played Minecraft 1.20.2 before without any mods. But nevertheless, as you can see, this is now finishing up. And once it's finished, it will say successfully install Client Profile Forge, where you can click OK and delete Forge from your desktop. Let's get our mods installed. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, you should probably already have a Forge installation. If you don't have a Forge installation, I'm going to show you how to make one but you probably already do and if that's the case go ahead and open up minecraft with forge and skip ahead in the video a minute but as you can see here forge we have it we can go ahead and click play click play again but if you don't have forge here go to installations at the top then make sure modded is selected as you can see if we deselect it forge is gone select it there it is you've got forge here click play click play again but if you still don't have forge or don't have the 1.20.2 version of forge click new installation you can name it whatever you want i'm going to name it simple game hosting because it's the easiest way to play mods like bombs of plenty with your friends and then go ahead and click on the versions drop down box here then we want to find release 1.20.2 dash forge mine's towards the top but you may need to scroll to find yours and then we want to go ahead and click the re, uh, resolution excuse me drop down and select resolution you don't have to do that i'm just doing that so we can see once we get in game and then we want to go ahead and click create and then we have this new simple game hosting com profile that most importantly has forge under it click play and click play again now minecraft is going to open up with forge installed and from there it's super easy to add bombs to plenty so i'll see you on the main menu to do that
So here we are, Minecraft is open, and we have this mods tab here. What we want to do is actually go ahead and click on that, and then from there, we can go ahead and see that we just have an open mods folder button. Now again, from the Minecraft main menu, click on mods, and then click open mods folder. That's going to open our mods folder, and all we've got to do is drag and drop Terra Blender and Biomes of Plenty into the mods folder. It's that easy. Once you've done that, they're not in game, and they're not going to be until you quit Minecraft and actually reopen up Minecraft with Forge. This time, when you open up Minecraft with Forge, you're good. The mods are installed, they will be working, and you'll be able to uh, join into an existing world. I'll talk more about that here in a second, or create a new world using Biomes of Plenty. Let's let Minecraft open up and we can talk about what happens if you use Biomes of Plenty in an existing world. So here we are in Minecraft, and if we go to mods, there it is Biomes of Plenty and Terra Blender showing that they're in game. Now, if we were to jump into an existing single player world, which I actually don't have any currently on my computer, but if we were to jump into an existing single player world, Bombs of Plenty would actually work, but it wouldn't generate anything in generated areas. It would only generate new chunks, basically, in Biomes of Plenty. The rest of them are going to be exactly as they were. That's why, generally, I would recommend starting a brand new world with Bombs of Plenty to get the best result out of it. And as soon as we join a game here, we can see uh, Biomes of Plenty is working. Look at that. Absolutely incredible incredible biome and uh, this is also biomes of plenty here as well as uh, this little biome over here too so biomes of plenty is everywhere it is working it looks amazing and you now have it installed if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we will see you in the next one enjoy biomes of plenty i'm out peace